Welcome, Gurinder. Thank you, Shivashish. That was a wow trailer that we just saw. It was wow for me to see it in Hindi. That was right. very wow. Well. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. We also loved it, right? We did, mm. right? We all loved it. There's this thing that I'd like to ask you. Is pehle ki hum aage bade. Mujhe please batayein. Whenever you made a film, you know, there there has there has been a social message in it yeah. with a quirk. हमेशा कुछ रहता है वो एक लेकिन विद दिस काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट कितना रिजर्वेशन था कि यार हाउ 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 डू आई डील विद दिस वाज देयर एनी काइंड ऑफ रिजर्वेशन दैट यू हैड वेल ऑल द फिल्म्स आई मेक इन सम वे आर आर अबाउट मी एंड ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल एंड अबाउट माय ओन स्टोरी एंड दिस फिल्म इज आल्सो वेरी पर्सनल माय एंसेस्टर्स आर फ्रॉम पंजाब नाउ व्हिच इज पाकिस्तान दैट पार्ट सो ग्रोइंग अप इन इंग्लैंड आई डिडंट हैव एन एंसेस्ट्रल होमलैंड to call my own so uh, the shadow of partition has been with me throughout my whole life so for me this is a personal film but it also does have a quirk because what i realized in doing the research was that the history that i had been taught about why partition happened was totally a lie complete lie uh we had been told that partition happened as a reaction to us fighting with each other whereas my research shows that partition was a uh, definitely a political act right. it jaan bujh ke hua tha um for certain interests right. Right. i'm i'm sure as i also said earlier ki this is based on true events yes. there are two books jisko adapt kiya gaya hai please Gee. tell us something about those books so the first book we optioned was freedom at midnight right. which is the so no people talk about as the seminal book on mm. partition Uh, written by um uh, Larry Collins and Dominic Lapierre mm. and for many years this was my father's favorite book okay. it, it's still on the shelf dog eaten you know um and it was based on lots of long interviews with Mount Batten himself so it's quite biased you know <laughs> in that way um but i was uh, i had optioned that book i had started wanting to make this film uh because i went to pakistan I what happened was uh, in 2008 I did a BBC documentary which was looking at my roots uh and we started in England right. went to Kenya where I was born came to India went to Hardwar okay. found out where my ancestral village was and then went to Pakistan and in the documentary I say okay I'm here but I'm not going to call this country Pakistan I'm going to call it pre-partitioned India because that's what it means to me and you see it in the documentary it's on youtube but when i got to the town all these people came out and they threw flowers at me and they gave me a shawl and they said aap hamari beti hai ji aaya nu and they said this is your home we're so happy you've come so it was a very moving experience for me right. and i found my grandfather's house uh and there were many refugees there uh from India to there so it was at that point i felt i wanted to do something about the people's uh, partition wow. so that is with the beginning of the film but then once we had started doing our research mm. uh i was at a reception with prince charles and i told prince charles i'm making a film about your favorite uncle mm. and he was very excited um and he said what are you basing it on and i said freedom at midnight and he said no no you need to read some other books and he said please get uh, narinder singh sarila's book uh which i hadn't heard of went to five bookshops found it was mind blowing and of course narinder singh sarila was a diplomat an indian uh, government official right. he was a uh, high commissioner to paris for 20 years he was um um uh, adc to mount batten in uh, rashtrapati bhavan you know in 1948 uh and he had been in the british library in london in 1997 and he was sitting there writing a book about the maharajas of india mm. when an indian lady mrs gosh who was a librarian was given these papers top secret documents and and was told to index them and she s- saw the papers read the significance she went to narendra said sir i think you should look at these papers he ditched the book he was writing mm. and wrote shadow of the great game so his indian intervention right. against right. all the odds mm. in the british library where these documents were then uncovered and so we took that and turned it into uh the movie well that that that's you know so much to learn from 
and kitna sun ke ekdam aisa lag raha hai ha yaar ek ek as if you 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 know it's a story telling session jahan humko kahi aur le gaye uh, with you sorry maine hindi mein nahi bola nahi bilkul acha kiya aapne jaise bola hame bahut acha laga magar je main hindi mein bolungi aapko koi samajh nahi aana tha jo kuch main bol raha jitna aapne jaise bola so what we'll do is you know a director's vision जिसको उतारा है बहुत ही खूबी के साथ इस पर्दे पे एक्टर्स ने उनमें से एक दो वेरी गॉजिस हुमा कुरैशी इज हियर उनके लिए जोरदार तालियां हो जाए प्लीज ये जोरदार कहते हैं आप लोग <laughs> जी जस्ट वांटेड टू नो मैम हाउ डिफरेंट इज द हिंदी कट फ्रॉम द फिल्म्स ओरिजिनल ब्रिटिश रिलीज सेम एग्जैक्टली द सेम एग्जैक्टली द सेम uh this is uh, uh, con- asking you so considering uh, you know there's some amount of criticism as far as the viceroy house is concerned uh, some said that um, it totally disregards the freedom struggle in india some said that it was anti muslim and there there's some amount of brickbats uh, now that it's releasing for the indian audience uh, what sort of response do you uh, uh, want from this film well i think that um i think you cannot make a film like this without uh upsetting people i mean because everybody has their own version of history you know uh as the film says it opens with history is written by the victors you know this film would be very different if it was made by a pakistani in pakistan uh an indian from india or a white british person in britain but it's the unique combination of who i am that has made it my vision so people who will have something to say it's because they want their own version of of history you know they want to see things their way and that's perfectly valid you know i am really not worried about people uh wanting to see more of this or more of that or more of you know uh this side you know more of jinna or more of uh, nerji or more of this i i i'm happy with that because the thing is this is a, everybody's story and everybody has to tell their own stories and this is not going to be the last film on partition there'll be many more but this is my version and this is how i see the world and this is my record of of how i see the events that defined me my family my community and my nations you know all my nations um at that time in 1947 so i absolutely appreciate some people um having their own comments and they're 100% right because it's an emotive subject you know i think for uh, pakistan you know it's going to be a very emotional